Hello and welcome back. Um, in the past I've often used uh, this dragon figurine, uh, which is Ariel the Dragon from Luby. And I've used this before because it shows quality of a printer uh, rather good, because the top is prone to oozing and stringing, and the outside of the wings is pretty good for showing vibrations and um, just to show the general quality of a print. And so I print this quite often and it also takes a, a while so you can actually see if the printer is performing or not. Um, but I didn't print this one on the, on the new printer. No, instead I printed this one. It's slightly larger. It's also slightly more detailed and it's also missing all of the artifacts that you usually have when you print something like this. This is very very high quality print. If only the focus would work. So everything you see here is absolutely beautiful. There are no problems with oozing or stringing. There are no vibrations that can be seen all through the print. The only thing that I'm a bit concerned about is this one line in the print which is about here Let's see if we can focus on that. Um, but I'm pretty sure that that happened. It's not working. I'm pretty sure that this line came to be um, when the cabling that I have on the printer uh, right up here because it's because it's still all new and uh, this is just testing it. And when I was doing that, I suppose that that cable might have been uh, too tense for uh, for some time. But apart from that, this print is just plain gorgeous. Uh, it's 33 centimeters in height. It has no artifacts. It has no stringing. It has no oozing. Um, it had no issues uh, sticking down on the build platform. It took a little bit over 10 hours to print. Um, the maximum speed was around uh, 60 to 62 millimeters uh, per, per second. And it's really amazing. Now. I know that this printer is not finished yet, but this is really amazing. I spent some time doing some small upgrades. Uh, most notably was an upgrade to the build platform where I added a small bearing that keeps the right side of the build platform at the correct height. Um, the build platform is absolutely uh, parallel to the x-axis. It is wonderful. Um, I've had no problems with leveling the print bed um, because that would be really hard to do. But it's absolutely perfect in any way and in every way. And the size is also pretty good. I did some smaller prints. In fact, this printer has been running almost all week. Um, it's done so many things. I have added this aluminium bar over here um, which is needed to keep the the x-axis from swinging too much. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to um, make turn the printer into a whole portal type printer or if I'm just gonna leave this bar over here um, 
to attach when you want it or and to leave it off when you don't want it but I don't know yet and I haven't decided on anything that I'm gonna change um, maybe I'm gonna bite the apple and uh, buy all the aluminium profiles to turn it into a uh, portal type printer but maybe not I don't know yet um, because that will be that would cost a bit yeah I haven't been able to do any up updates on the uh, on the extruder um, because the parts that were supposed to arrive this week didn't arrive yet well which isn't that much of a surprise because they're coming from China and um, so this is all it's all slow going but I'm really happy the way this turned out right now and um, all of the mechanics they just work out perfectly there's 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 nothing wrong with this printer uh, I could just keep on using it uh, I came to be really happy about this extruder that I reworked because it is now really good I mean this thing when I got it didn't work out at all but now that it's completely set up uh, the cooling works better um, the the filament can't be pinched I'm currently even arguing with myself um, if I should turn this extruder into an all-metal extruder so I can try and print some uh, flexible filament or or wood or nylon when I need a bit more heat and when I change the extruders on the system I might do so I might take these parts off and uh, change the throat and maybe change the heater block and turn it into an all-metal extruder um, because this throat on here um, has a, a PTFE lining yeah basically that's it for this short episode um, there's not much to show for this week um, except this print result which is truly amazing I mean wow I expected this to be good but I didn't expect it to be this good so thank you very much for watching I hope that next time around I have more things to show more um, more changes to the printer um, but until then thank you very much for watching and bye bye